This video is on how to access video conferencing facility for faceless assessments. Let us first understand what is a faceless assessment. A faceless assessment is also called an e-assessment. It is a new scheme which has been brought to enable interaction without human interface of the taxpayer or their authorized representatives with the income tax authorities for the purpose of assessment. The entire assessment proceedings are conducted electronically. That means right from the issue of notice to the service of assessment order, the entire process is done electronically. Let us now see how do we submit a request for video conferencing in case of faceless assessments. Video conferencing is an optional facility which is provided to taxpayers in cases where show cause notice is issued. Once a show cause notice is issued, the taxpayer may request for video conferencing within compliance period through the Seek Video Conferencing button under e-proceedings tab on the e-filing portal. Generally, during the course of one assessment proceedings, one show cause notice is issued and therefore, the taxpayer gets just one opportunity to seek video conferencing during the course of assessment proceedings. So let us now see step by step how do we seek video conferencing in case of faceless assessments. Once you receive a notice for faceless assessment, you are required to log into the e-filing portal using your valid user ID and password. Post login, go to the Pending Actions tab and click on e-proceedings. Here you can view all the notices which have been issued to you. You can also respond to the notices. Specifically with respect to show cause notices, you would be able to apply for video conferencing. So in this particular case, you can click on Assessment Proceeding under Section 147. Click on View Notice. After downloading the notice and preparing yourself, you can click on Seek Video Conferencing if required. On the video conferencing page, you are required to select the reason for video conferencing from the drop down menu and also provide the desired date and also give detailed reason for video conferencing. You may also provide attachment if any and then click on Submit button. Your request for video conferencing will be sent to the faceless assessing officer. If the request is approved, you will receive an intimation on your registered email ID regarding the video conferencing schedule. This intimation will contain the video conferencing link, password and instructions etc. Alternatively, you can also again log into the e-filing portal, go to e-proceedings tab and click on seek video conferencing button against the relevant notice and you can see that the video conferencing details will be populated here also. On the date of video conferencing, you can connect through the link and the credentials provided to you and appear for video conferencing before the faceless assessing officer. Please note that you are required to keep relevant documents to prove your identity to the faceless assessment officer and you must also keep other documents to support your contentions against the show cause notice. The details are also provided in the VC schedule notice or the letter which will be issued to you. In case you face any difficulty, you can send an email to samadhan.faceless.assessment at incometax.gov.in. There can be some more queries with respect to video conferencing. Let us look at them one by one. The first query could be that while entering the password for video conferencing, it is showing invalid password. What should I do? In this particular case, you are required to verify the link which is provided to you in the PDF. You may submit a screenshot of the screen and details of the issue phase as a response to the existing show cause notice under the e-proceedings tab in the e-filing portal. You can also seek another opportunity for personal hearing when you submit this response. In case you face any difficulty in submitting response through e-proceeding, you can send an email to samadhan.faceless.assessment at incometax.gov.in requesting for another video conferencing for personal hearing with the details of proceeding and the DIN of the show cause notice. Some of the taxpayers can also face a situation where the host does not join the meeting. In case the host is not able to join the meeting, the taxpayer should submit the same to the faceless assessing officer requesting another opportunity for video conferencing as the host could not join. In certain situations, it may happen that the video conferencing gets disconnected due to some technical issues on either end. What should the taxpayer do in such a situation? Though in the normal case, if the taxpayer gets disconnected, the taxpayer can reconnect on the same link and continue with the video conferencing if the faceless assessing officer has not closed the video conferencing. 
However, if the video conferencing is closed by the host, then the taxpayer may submit a written request to the faceless assessing officer through submit response to show cause notice citing reason for disconnection and can also request for another opportunity for the video conferencing as the earlier one got disconnected due to technical issues. Another issue that can be faced is that I am unable to submit the response for the VC link received. What should I do? In case you are not able to submit the response to the VC link received, you may kindly seek another opportunity for personal hearing in the same response. In case of difficulty in submitting requests through the e-proceedings tab, you can send an email to samadhan.faceless.assessment at incometax.gov.in requesting for another opportunity for personal hearing through video conferencing with the details of proceedings and the DIN of the show cause notice. Can I submit documents during the video conferencing or will I get an acknowledgement for such submission? Is a copy of such documents available under e-proceedings under e-filing? Please note that you can share documents during video conferencing to explain your case. However, no acknowledgement is generated for such documents shared during the VC. Copy of such documents are also not available in e-proceedings. However, it is expected that copies of all documents submitted during VC are also submitted through the e-filing portal. Accessing video conferencing facility for faceless assessments is very easy. To know more, you may visit our website www.incometax.gov.in or contact our helpline numbers.